Behind those Hollywood hills and beyond the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles, if you look a little closer, you will find another city. There are more homeless families on the streets in Los Angeles than any other place in America. This sign, summing it up, population too many, which is why the Pope is checking in with Los Angeles tonight, reaching out to places he wanted to visit but will be unable to. How are you? Hey, babe. Rosemary, a 31-year-old single mother of two, Rosemary, I love you. Who had no other choice but to move her family into a shelter. There was times where she didn't want to get out of bed. And we had to, I had to remind her, baby, we need to do this. Rosemary, just getting her first apartment for her okay. girls. Ta -da. Finally. A family grateful, a prayer of thanks for their blessings. You say grace. Thank you, God, for this day. And we sent Cecilia Vega yeah, to tell them they'll now share those blessings with the Pope. You guys are going to talk to Pope Francis. No. You serious? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, I want to cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that's beautiful. I mean, I'm not even deserving. God is just so good to me. And then there's Marcus, the brave teenager who was once in a foster home, once adopted, and until just last week, was living in a shelter. This is my prize blazer. <laughs> I wear this a lot. Showing us his best jacket. And we tell him that's a good thing, because he's about to talk to the Pope. I want to tell you something, Marcus. Hmm. You're going to talk to Pope Francis tomorrow. Am I really? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> He's one of my heroes. We're with him that morning as he puts on that jacket and tie, while back in Rome, beside Pope Francis, we're about to hear from Marcus, that mother and her girls in Los Angeles. As you can see, they are excited for their moment with Pope Francis. And in fact, in that room, many of them have just learned that they will, in fact, get a chance to talk with the Pope today. Cecilia. Holy Father, the majority of the people here in the room with me today come from nine different shelters in this city. These are shelters that house the homeless and the destitute in Los Angeles. This is my friend Marcus here. Mm -hmm. He's one of them. He is 19 years old. Marcus told me that he has spent more nights living on the streets of this city than he can ever count until he moved into a shelter. And Holy Father Marcus, has a question for you today. Um, hi, Holy Father. It's, it's a great honor to meet you and to be able to speak with you um, and to represent all of the people, the young people here uh, who are without a home here in the United States. So my question for you, because um, I know why you're so important to me, uh, but why is this trip to America so important to you? For me, it's very important to meet with you all, with the citizens of the United States, who have your history, your culture, your virtues, your joys, your sadnesses, your problems, like everyone else. I'm at the service of all churches and all men and women of goodwill. There is something very important for me which is closeness. For me, it's difficult not to be close to people. When I approach people, as I'm going to do with you, it's easier for me to understand them and help them along life's path. That's why this trip is so important, for me to draw close to your path and your history. Thank you. Holy Father, I have someone else, some very special people I would like you to meet. This is Rosemary and her daughters, Celeste and Alyssa. They were living in a shelter for a very long time, and they only recently moved into their very first apartment ever. Alyssa is 11 years old. She's a brilliant little girl and she would like to tell you a little bit about herself. Your Holiness, it is so nice to meet you. When I was living in the shelter, I used to see people 
with their families and fathers. And they used to walk to a big house and open the door. And they were all so happy. And I was walking to the shelter and I felt ashamed. But I had my family, my sister, and my mom who really support me at times when I'm really sad. And, and I have an apartment and a dog named Chico. <laughs> <laughs> and I really love all of them. And this is Rosemary. Rosemary, what would you like to tell the Holy Father today? Hi, Holy Father. My name is Rosemary. I want to show you this, love. And um, it's hard for me to be a single mom. I struggle, and it's hard for me to hear my daughter tell me these things. I've made some mistakes as a person, as a mother. I felt guilty at times and ashamed. We have each other, and that's what's important, that we can still do it. And when I look at my daughter, Liz and Celeste, and I see how beautiful they've grown, they just inspire me to not give up. Every day I try, and I, and I hope, and I pray. And I just want to thank you, and I want to say I love you, and God bless you. <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary, for your testimony. I want to tell you one thing. I know it's not easy to be a single mother. I know that people can sometimes look askance at you. But I'll tell you one thing. You're a brave woman because you were capable of bringing these two daughters into the world. You could have killed them inside your womb and you respected life. You respected the life you were carrying inside you. And God will reward you for that. He does reward you for that. Don't be ashamed. Hold your head high. I didn't kill my daughters. I brought them into the world. I congratulate you. I congratulate you, and God bless you. From thousands of miles away in Rome, sitting beside the Pope, we see those tears. Muchas gracias, Cecilia, y muchas gracias, Rosemary y Alyssa.